I'm Dennis Chambers, born in Baltimore, Maryland, 57 years old. I played with Parliament Funkadelic, George Duke, Stanley Clark, David Sanborn, Steely Dan, Santana, John Schofield, John McLaughlin, Sly Stone. I toured with the Jacksons in the 80s. Oh, and, and the Brecker Brothers, too. I played with a little bit of everybody. DPA Mike started with me with, at the NAM show this year. Gabe came along and enlightened my life with these microphones. <laughs> um, on this, put this beautiful set of microphones on the kit, and my kit came to life. I mean, they were already live, but, you know, like, you know, trying to get the reproducing the sound from the drums out into the house. You know, sometimes it's a hard thing to do when you when you have like uh, like not so good microphones. It captured my drums. And and the other thing is the way I see it is like if you can take a microphone and and put it on an instrument and you don't have to EQ it. You know, when you use the microphone flat and it's and it captures your sound, that's a great microphone. When I was demonstrating the drums, every time I got around to the gong bass drum, you can see people jumping. And, you know, like really responding to, to that big drum I got out there, right? And that was in a small room. Normally you don't get that kind of, uh, you don't get that kind of response unless you're in a big room. With DPA microphones, it's, it's not just normal microphones, you know? I mean, it's not the normal setup, you know? There's the interchangeable parts and, and things. You can shape the mics any kind of way you want them to get what kind of sound you want out of them. So I'm digging them. I'm really, really digging the microphone. We started this project in a big, gigantic room in Washington, D.C. You know, I'm not a big fan of, you know, big open, cemented rooms, you know, because your drums just go all over the place. I got a chance to hear a little bit of playback with the, with the microphones and the mixing. It all came together, you know, pulled everything real tight. I mean, I listened to three minutes in the truck, and, you know, that was enough for me right there. I'll tell you something else about the, the microphones that I really like. Gabe brought the microphones down to Baltimore to teach me, you know, what, how the microphones work and, and things like that, but in a studio. This is all new to me because I never had an elaborate microphone system set up over my drums like that. You know, where they're mixing in 11.1. Drums. Oof, go figure, you know. So far, it's, it's really, really killing me.